With the legislature now dissolved, the Ontario election campaign has officially begun. Here behind me at Queen's Park, 124 seats up for grabs on June 2nd. Over the next several weeks, thousands of workers will help eligible residents cast their ballots. We spoke with Eleni Arminikis at Elections Ontario to find out more about how this year's vote will work. This is the first provincial election since uh, the COVID-19 pandemic began. So I'm just wondering, what will Elections Ontario be doing to help ensure there are public health precautions adhered to in polling stations? So we actually have been working with the Office of the Chief Medical Officer of Health since about 2020 um, to take their recommendations um, on what to do and the best practices and what to implement at the polls to protect voters. So the voters will see a lot of what they're already used to in terms of physical distancing, hand sanitizer, disinfecting high-touch services. What will voters see that's new at the polling stations this year compared to past Ontario elections? One of the big changes this year is we've got an Elections Ontario app. You can download it and you'll be able to find information about when and where to vote. You'll also be able to find a digital copy of your voter information card, which is really important. Now that's a card you get in the mail, you can now get it on your phone and bring it to the polls. And that has information about when and where to vote. We also have a new online vote by uh, application to apply to vote by mail. Now, for those who don't want to download an app, can they do all the app functions on the Elections Ontario website? So absolutely, you can still look up where to vote on the Elections Ontario website by entering your address. And you can also um, go online now, make sure you're on the voters list um, through our e-registration portal. And if you're on the list, you'll still be sent that uh, voter information card by mail. And if I'm unable to vote on June 2nd, how else can I vote if I can't make it out on voting day? So there are actually a couple of options to vote before Election Day. Starting May 5th, you can vote in person at your returning office, and that'll run until 6 p.m. on June 1st. Um, you can also apply to vote by mail from May 4th to 6 p.m. on May 27th. And then there's advanced voting from May 19th to May 28th. And this one is something that usually comes up every time there's an election, but what do voters need to bring with them to the voting location in order for them to cast a ballot? Voters need to bring one piece of ID with their name and their address. And then if they do receive a voter information card, they can bring that as well. And that just makes the process really simple when they get to the voting location, but they must bring ID with their name and address. The last question would be this, what's the message to people um, why they should get out and vote? We're here to make voting as easy as possible. You should be able to come in, cast your ballot, especially when you have that voter information card, as quickly, as easily as possible. And so that's really our role in that. Turnout is, of course, a bit of a shared responsibility, um, but we're here to make it easy for you. If you have any questions, reach out. Uh, and there are a lot of voting options and ways that we can help. At your voting location, you'll be able to find instructions for how to vote in 38 languages. We'll also have tools like a braille ballot template or magnifiers. If you have trouble getting to the poll, you can also call your returning office and request a home visit, and someone will actually help facilitate the vote for you at your home.